Hi, my name is Laura Ingwell and I'm a researcher in the Entomology Department at Purdue University. Today I'm providing a video on how to install insect exclusion screens on high tunnels. Uh, this is something that we've been doing for the past three years, particularly for cucumber production. We use a mesh size that is small enough to exclude striped cucumber beetles and the disease that they transmit from the crop. So today we're working in a 24 foot wide by 48 foot long traditional rounded style high tunnel. And the first step for many of you is going to be to remove your existing side curtain. So we begin by rolling the side curtain down so there's not a lot of tension on it. And we're going to pull out all of these screws along the side and then remove the rope. When we purchase the insect exclusion screen, it comes on rolls by the foot. So we purchase panels um, that span the width of the tunnel about 50 feet long pre-cut. The mesh will then be secured on the top, underneath the curtain, and along the bottom we hold it in place with a snap track um, to secure it tightly. So once we have the curtain and the rope removed, our next step is to install the track. So our tunnels here have a two by four along the baseboard uh, for the structure. So we can nestle this track directly along the top of that two by four. And then we just secure it in place with some screws. Once you have installed the tube block or snap track base, we're ready to reinstall the screen with the sidewall curtains. So we like to lay out the screen and the curtain along the length of the tunnel. Um, and then we come over when we're ready to install at the top edge. We've learned that it is helpful to use a furrowing strip to relieve some of the tension from the screws pulling on both the screen and the curtain material. So we start at one end and we level the edge of the curtain and the screen. We pull it over the end of the furrowing strip and then we hold it in place with the original screws that were used for the curtains. And we make our way down the length of the tunnel, um, leveling the screen and the curtain material all the way down until the top is in place. So at this point we have our curtain reinstalled with our screen from the outside and we've moved to the inside of the tunnel. As you can see here our tube lock or snap track base is in place and at this point we are ready to start putting some pressure on the screen. When you install the screen you want it to be as tight as possible so that you can still maintain some ventilation and airflow through the screening material. If it's loose the wind will catch it and not move through the tunnel. We also want to make sure that we're leaving enough on the end so that we can go back outside and pull that screen around and secure it to the end walls. So we're simply tucking the screen past the end wall and then we're going to use our two block uh, base to clip it in. So what I'm doing here is pulling as tight as I can on the screen and then you put the base in place and you simply hammer it in. You start on one end of the material and you can work your way down and pull taut as you go. Working around the braces can be a bit tricky, but if you hammer on one side and then move to the other, the entire piece should slip into place. And then we move on to the next. And we just want to get them as close together as possible. We also find it very important to install the insect exclusion screen around the gable vents. So as you can see above, 
we use the same snap track or snap lock base to frame the gable vents themselves and then we will place a piece of screen over that and then secure it in place with the wiggle wire. So the last point that we need to secure on our sidewall exclusion screen is the ends. So here we've installed another piece of that two block base um, along the distance of the sidewall. Then we simply pull on that screen, again trying to be taut, stretching it over that base and put in place a wiggle wire to secure it. Now the screens are taut and in place. Your curtain will freely move up and down without catching on the screen, and your crop will be protected from insect pests. The main insect pest that we are attempting to exclude in this case is the striped cucumber beetle. Um, it's a major threat for cucumber or watermelon or cantaloupe production. It causes direct damage on the vegetable cr or fruit crop, as well as transmitting a disease. So we have found that the best size insect screen to eliminate this pest is approximately 0.7 by 1 millimeter pore size. That is a size that is large enough to allow ventilation so we don't see damage on the crops themselves from increased temperatures, but also small enough to keep the beetles off of the crop throughout the growing season.